In this sponsored video, I will talk about my data logger. The reason why is that every time I post a video where I use my data logger, I get a lot of questions about it. So I thought, why not make a separate video about my data logger so that you can have the same data logger in your own car. In uh, the first part of uh, the video, I will uh, go through uh, the possibilities you have with uh, my data logger, Link My Tesla. And in the end of the video, I will show you how you make a subscription, or you can also uh, uh, have a free test period. So, first I want to show you uh, the features of uh, my data logger. So, of course, I have made it as a favorite. And now I go into my favorites, and here I have it. It's called Link My Tesla. And uh, I have made uh, the favorite so that it goes directly into the current trip. And what you can see here in the trip is you can see the time you have driven. And then you can see how long you have idled. And that is, uh, if you're not very good at English, that means how long uh, you have uh, stopped uh, the car on uh, the trip. Then you can see how many kilometers uh, the drive was. And an interesting uh, point here is uh, you can see the consumption, but you can also see how many kilowatt hours you have regenerated. That means how many uh, kilowatt hours you have got back for free from the Tesla. Uh, then you can see how many uh, kilometers you have driven per kilowatt hours, and you can see how many watt hours you have used per kilometer. Also, you have your average speed here, and uh, the last point is your max speed. Then you also have the, the possibility to show a map. And uh, of course, everything I show you now can also uh, be done from a PC or iPad or all uh, uh, devices that has a web browser. And now it just has to load. Here it comes. And you can see uh, the map now. Uh, maybe I can zoom a little bit out. Yes, of course I can do that, but this is the Tesla browser, so it's pretty slow. So what uh, it shows now is a power, and you can see here when I have accelerated, that is shown. Uh, if you push this button, trip list, you will see a list of uh, your recent trips. And here you can see um, the addresses you drove from and uh, where you drove to. You can see uh, the distance. And this is my trip number 2343. So yes, I drive a lot in my Tesla. And uh, also you can see uh, different things here uh, about the trip. And uh, here you can see the date and uh, the time. And uh, of course you can uh, erase your trip here, but I never erase any trips. Why should I? Okay, then I go uh, back to uh, the menu here. And I'll just go into uh, the trip list again. Here. Okay, then I'll go into that my recent trip once again. And uh, you can also see an old-fashioned speedometer up here. And uh, here you have a, I think it's called a gyroscope. So uh, you can see uh, um, what the direction the car goes in. Now, yes, here. And uh, you can also see north, east, west, and uh, south, and uh, you can see uh, your uh, altitude. So this was better. Altitude below, and uh, the, de the, the de degree of uh, your direction uh, is uh, at the top. Okay, 
down here you have the menu button I will show you that in, in a little moment and then you have a button called more and this is quite interesting so when you push the button more you will see your acceleration from uh, 0 to 100 now I haven't uh, driven uh, above 100 on my latest trip and uh, therefore nothing is found but uh, this is uh, quite fun to do experiments with so you can see how fast your car is also you can I push here uh, you couldn't see that I pushed there and then you can uh, see that you can uh, you can see how fast your car is from 0 to 100 and this is kilometers per hour but you can also put it to miles 0 to 60 0 to 80 0 to 130 and 0 to 160 1 0 to 200 and then uh, accelerations from 40 to 100 and I'll scroll a little, a little bit and you can see here are the rests of uh, the choices you can do okay so also you can see how many kilowatt hours your car used also that is interesting because if you um, multiply uh, this number with 1.34 you can see how many horsepowers your car have and here you can see uh, what your state of battery was when uh, you uh, made your 0 to 100 time the calculate button here is if is if you have made new uh, accelerations then you just push the calculate and it will calculate the new acceleration okay I'll go back then I will show you the menu where we have trip lists as uh, you just saw where all my trips were and then you have your recent trip and then you have trip meters if I push that button you can see my latest uh, trip meters you can do them uh, here yourself I don't really use uh, this feature but then you can add a new trip here and uh, then you can uh, use this if you uh, get paid uh, for driving uh, for your work and uh, then you can use these I'll go back to the menu again and uh, also a new uh, quite interesting feature uh, they have made uh, here in link my tesla is uh, charge so i will push push charge here and uh, then it shows details about your charge i'm at a supercharger now and uh, you can see that i have charged for one hour and uh, i'm going on a very long drive uh, so this is why I'm charging all the way up you can see that I started at 26 percent and I'm now at 99 percent and also you have uh, the costs of, uh, of um, what it would have cost you if you were charged at home this is in Danish kroners of course you can set that to uh, dollars or whatever you like and you can also see more details here your average power that's okay 48 kilowatt uh, in average and this is uh, how many kilometers uh, I have got on my car uh, per hour I'll go back to the menu again you also have a charge list where you can see all uh, your latest latest judged they are all here with the details here I'll go back to the menu again and here is a good feature you can export all the data and uh, then you can export them to uh, for instance Excel and uh, with uh, a little bit of tricks you can calculate uh, almost everything how much you have charged 
charged for a week, a month, or also how many kilo watt hours you have regenerated and uh, all other stuff. And uh, here you have options. Then you can see all the endurance settings. You can uh, put in your preferred units and uh, other stuff, preferred language. Let's see how many language we have to choose between. We have Danish, English and uh, Norwegian so far. Maybe in future versions uh, there will be uh, more languages. Then you uh, have your personal settings, I <laughs> won't show you that. Um, and then you have trip list categories and you can make your own list categories. That could be uh, one you call work, one you call fun and one you call family. Uh, you can call them whatever. I don't use this feature. You can also have charge list categories. For instance, you can make one called Supercharger, and you can make one called At Home, and uh, then you can see how much you have uh, charged at different places. Then you have email settings, and I won't show you that either. Okay, I'll go back. And I guess this is it course here is some info about the program and here is a feedback you can send to the developer and uh, at the bottom here you can just see how many days you have left of your subscription and finally I would like to tell you how to make a subscription first you go to the website called linkmytesla.dk this here you don't have to use so just link my tesla dot dk and then a page will show up where it is standard in english and if you want danish you can just push the danish flag so in here you push the button create user and uh, then you choose a username and your email and your password and you can choose your language now you can also choose Swedish and uh, that's the way it is you get uh, as you can see here you get 14 days for free uh, where you can try out all the features and uh, if you want to make a subscription the price is about three euros or three dollars per month which I think is pretty cheap